farmer friend, singer songwriter, Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack of all trades, Chris Horn. And we're Those Those Taste Bud Guys. Shorts, but we're not wearing, we're we're sprinters right now. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Text Joyce one more time. I'm Chris, that's Lyle, and we have a special It's a bottle? Donor? Yeah, bottle. Yeah. We have I'm a special a... donor. That's what I was gonna try to yeah. say. Yeah, I was gonna say I just gonna say donor bottle, but I don't know if they're leaving this with us or not. I don't know. But there's it's here for us to taste regardless. Yeah, and and also that put a lot of pressure. I'm just saying. <laughs> we can't tell you who it's a super secret though. Yeah. It's like, um, Mr. President. Anyways, <laughs> Biden? Don't shh. <laughs> tell him. Dude. Tell him. <laughs> wait, 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 we could stir up so much shit if we got into political stuff. No, we're not. Well, we don't care. Political stuff. I mean, we do, but we don't, you know. Okay, so we've got Old Tub, which uh, is a bottle that was uh, brought to us by somebody sitting over in the cheap seats over there, way away, like didn't want to be close to us. I know. Just like afraid he was going to throw the bottle or something. Yeah. And uh, it said he hadn't seen it on the show before, uh, and it's local to us, and we'll know if we can bring it by. We said, absolutely. I mean, who are we ever going to tell you can't bring us whiskey? Guys, if you want to bring us whiskey, just show up. You don't have to ask. Anyways, um, Jared, it's not Jared. Yes. I'll give you that. Uh, you can eliminate one person out of Dallas County. It's not Jared. It's not Jared. You can tell because of the amount I'm pouring into the glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, but it's Old Tub. Yes. Now, what do you know about Old Tub? Anything? I know that Old Tub has shown up on some of my bourbon groups um, from time to time. This is one of those ones like, um, uh, I want to say Uncle Nearest might be one. Um, that there's, from what I understand, it's, it's a little difficult to find, but not necessarily like, not hard. I don't think it's one of those like insanely pricey bottles, but it's it's like Eagle Rare or E.H. Taylor. One of those bottles where like someone discovered a gem that's at a fantastic price point, And now if you find it, you should buy the damn thing as quick as you can. That's what I understand. About. But I've always heard good things about it. Yes. And this is a beam product. So whether that makes or breaks it for you, I don't know. We like beam stuff, so. I have high hopes for it. Yeah. So off the nose. <laughs> get another drink. We just had some repeal batch. I just had an IPA. <laughs> oh, well, <clears throat> that'll do it. Um, so it's a, it's a nice light nose. Okay, so yeah, that's that's where I was headed. It's it's super light. It's not over over promising anything. And for a bottled and bond, there's no there's no alcohol burn. No, there's, there's no boom. At to least it on all. the on the top of it. And I'm gonna try the bottom. I ought enough to get almost a, a honey note off of it, like a little floral, like late fall, early fall kind of kind of you know autumn flower note off of it. Yeah, um, and then on well, you really got to go in there deep to get the alcohol. Well, yeah, well, but that's where that pepper comes through a little bit, and sort of some like maybe like new leather. Yep. I mean, it's typical Kentucky straight bourbon stuff, but it's so even keeled on the nose. Oh, it's really, nothing really like just, nothing sticks out. Which yeah, is, just flat. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's tasty. Okay. Here's, here's my, my initial thing with this. I'm gonna change my mind after I take a second sip. It's pretty damn good. I like doubled oak whiskeys. I like big, bold, like kick you in the ass flavors. This is a Kentucky Straight, and a Kentucky Straight's never gonna have those flavors, especially a bottled and bond, because they're held to a whole series of standards, right? It has to be aged, what, four years for bottled and bond, I think? Two. No, that's bourbon for two. I think I'm pretty sure Bottle and Bond's for it. I don't know. Um, Somebody look it up. And if I'm wrong, tell me. Probably am. Probably am fucking wrong. Um, <clears throat> but um, all that said, huh, this is nice. It's just, it's a it's a high note for me, but it's sweet. Okay, so a little bit. You didn't go with that where I thought you was going to go. Now I took a couple of sips. What do you think I was going to shit all over it? 
No. <laughs> no, I thought you was going to say, I like these big, oaky, you know, double-oaked whiskeys and this and that, and this hits those notes, mm -mm. and then you didn't. But I actually think it does. I think it hits a lot of really big woody notes. Woody, but not that not that dark double oaked flavor. It is very woody. It is okay. very very woody. Um, but you know what I'm talking about, like like the Woodford double oaked or, I heaven forbid, the Balcony stuff. But like you know that big like I just like ate half of a sawmill. So um, like Woodford though tends to be nice and polite and smooth, and it's got highfalutin wood flavors. This one is. Pretty pow. Well, it's rough and wrong. Kind of, yeah. 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 So, a, but kind of like a whiskey should be, though. Yeah, no, I I'm hundred percent behind this one, actually. What was the uh, price point on this? 24? 24 bucks? Oh, all day long. All day long. That's that's forty dollar whiskey easy. Yeah, yeah. No, the, yeah, this stands up. Uh yeah. So oh, I, all day long. So 100%. that so that kind of lines up with the bourbon groups that I've gotten into where like, um, when they see Old Tub, it's not quite to the level of like, like, oh my God, we're driving states away to get Buffalo Trace, which is terrible and Do we? worthless. Not Buffalo Trace, but like driving states away for it. Not worth it. Just throw a twist it. Hey, Jared, is do we still have Kentucky Tavern over there? I think we drained that one. I think we did too. Okay. That was like a $9 Dang. whiskey. I know. <laughs> that was another one that was, was punching way above its, its price oh, yeah, range. Yeah. But 24 I think you're right. This, this is this is in that $40 range. But that that holds true with the folks I know that when they see it, they pick it up. Because How do you do a bottled and bond and manage to sell it for $24? $24. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> All right. What's the other tasting notes you get on before we, we jump off here? Um, I'll tell you what I'm not getting out of it is the big cherry notes. Yeah, yeah. And the older leather. Um, I'm getting a little bit of the, the field, like the dirty grassy notes in there, which I do like. Um, I'm getting some of the, um, oh, wood still prominent. The, uh, I'm gonna try to think, hold on, let me drink it again. Sorry if I lost my train of thought. Boy, that could be dangerous. That could be real dangerous. Well, it's got to be because I've already drank too much or <laughs> drank my share. Um, I'm just always surprised with Kentucky Straits how high noted they are. It's just, I, I, I don't know why I think it's going to be harsher and bigger and bolder than they are. And they're just, they never are. Um, but I think this would be, this is obviously good and neat. I think it's stand it up to rocks. A weird well, well over us. And for 24 bucks, I think this might be a fantastic mixing whiskey. At that price point, anyway. I mean, I don't know how you go wrong with that. I wonder if we'll use this for a well whiskey. I think, it, surely that comes down to the availability of it, right? Like, you can't use this as a well whiskey if you can't get hold of it. And then water does nothing for the nose. It does not approve it at all. Oh, but man, yeah, this would be great over rocks. Yeah? Yeah, it'd be really good. Am I missing something by not water back in it? You'll never know. Oh, damn it. All right, well, I might do that here in a second. I might, um, I might give you a sip of mine after, well, after we close out. All right, um, guys, if you don't mind, subscribe. If you made it this far, I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm, <clears throat> I'm sorry you made it this far. <clears throat> <clears throat> and our our lovely friends at Wood Hat. You want to yeah. take this one? Yours well, it's been a couple, couple episodes yeah. since we've called them out. Now, usually we say, if you want a really good whiskey, because we're like crapping on the whiskey, so I can't really say that this time, because this is actually <laughs> pretty good whiskey. But if you want a really special whiskey, you might visit our friends over at Wood Hat. Go check them out. Or if you have the ability to go up to New Florence, Missouri, go in there, walk in and say, hey man, I seen you guys, Chris and Lyle was talking about you on the Taste Bud Show. We want to come check it out firsthand. Or go in and say, we saw you on those taste bud guys and they don't know a damn thing about what they're talking about and we want to see for ourselves. Yeah, they screwed <laughs> They screwed it all up. and Which uh, we did screw it up. We, we screwed did. up the blue corn. We did, and we had to put an I'm sorry episode up. And we did. 
So <laughs> go back and watch them if you get a chance. Otherwise, check what out. Go check them out on Facebook. Check them out online. Order a bottle if you can. Go to your uh, dealer and say, hey, can you get some wood hat for us? And they'll say, huh? Yeah. And then explain it to them. Yes. Uh, and other than that, until next time. Whether it be the... Uh, Pleasant surprise you're getting out of a $24 bottle of whiskey. Yeah, the food you're eating. Clothes you're wearing. Or the people you're meeting. Grab a buddy and try something new. <laughs> <laughs>